So fire is uh, the heart and small intestine. Um, it opens to the tongue. Um, you guys, have you had your tongue diagnosis class yet? So you, Leslie, you know, showed you that idea, like where to look on the tongue for the different organs. So, you know, heart imbalances are going to show on that show on that tip. Also, because heart is that emperor and it's also ruling blood. You know, the color of the tongue. Okay, governs speech. You know, so let's just say with you know right now that I'm I'm representing or presenting to you some really good fire energy okay and as I get more wound up today you'll like really see that okay so you know it's like fire energy is that hot bright thing you know and it's like the best fire people are gonna be you know performers you know it's like that's a lot of what it's charisma you know and it's getting up there and it's it's like you wanna connect with people you know and I always tell people it's like when I ask you how's it going I want to hear just, eh, I want to hear, how is it going, you know? So those fire people are like keenly empathetic, you know? I mean, it's like they look in, they feel, you know, and, oh, and they're shining their light on you kind of thing. The problem with fire people is, is that it's like they get to be junkies for experience. It's like, oh, here's the cool, here's the, and then, and then they kind of like suck the life out of it, you know? Oh, and then they're over to this one, and eh, and then they're over to that one, you know? And it's like a lot of times they can be drawn to like, you know, consciousness expanding things, okay? You know, uh, it can be in a good way, it can be in a bad way. You know, in a good way, yeah, you're, you're doing uh, spiritual practices that open your consciousness and connect you to it. In a bad way, pass the mushrooms and the peyote button over, you know what I mean? Or the alcohol or whatever, you know? So. Um, you know, and classically, I mean, I think of like one martial arts teacher that I knew that was just like heavily fire imbalanced. I mean, this guy would come and it literally like the experience of being with people was the fuel to his fire. I mean, he would just like start burning hotter and brighter and more and literally like wouldn't sleep for 48 hours because he's just like, it's so exciting to be here and people and that and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, it's like he just burns out like a coal and boom, he crashes. I've done that. So um, fire is going to be found in, uh, in sweat and blood. Those are like the external manifestations, internal, external manifestations. It's in the pulse, rules the pulse. So the emotion is overexcitement and giddiness. You know, it's a challenge for me when I teach not to let my heart energy get so far out of balance and, you know, just pay attention to me this week. Or if, like, do you feel like there's a difference in my energy today, say, compared to, like, Friday night? If you're pay there is, because what was my energy like Friday night? <laughs> you know, because I'm all fiery and like, oh, it's great, all these cool new people we're going to meet and we're going to share and we're going to talk and we're going to experience. Blah, 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 you know, so now it's like I'm getting myself regrounded a little bit, you know. I remember one year just really getting like heart excess. And Ben looking at me and going, how about an acupuncture treatment? And I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, this is acupuncture. Ah, 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 ah. You know, and he like lays me on the bed. And like right in mid-giddy laugh, he needles like a pericardium point. And I literally was like, ah! just like deflating a balloon. And it was just so beautiful. I'm like, and I remember like laying there looking at him like, I'm getting a little heart excess, aren't I? And, and, you know, if you've never worked with Ben, he's, he's great, you know, and he just looks at you and, and he's like, well, what do you think? And I'm like, well, I think I was pretty heart excess, so thanks, you know. So the sound is laughing, you know, so again, you know, you're going to um, hear that, you know. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate between fire and earth because, um, you know, with earth, there, there can be like a real kind of sing-song quality to people's voice. So there'll be that kind of exuberance of fire there. But, you know, you'll hear those earth people and they'll kind of be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, yeah. You, it's kind of almost like they're singing. You know, their body will kind of seesaw, sing song up and down like that. So sometimes it's trying, it's hard to see. And a lot of times you'll see fire earth kind of people. They just kind of seem to go together because there's that kind of like harmonious, grounded, happy kind of earth energy along with all of that fire, let's just experience life and, you know, throw our clothes off and run around the woods naked and get sunburned kind of thing, you know? So, 
The flavor, the taste is bitter. The activity is looking, the gaze, all right? So though it's the eyes and the liver meridians <laughs> open to the eyes, so if those eyes are bloodshot and red, you know, we're going, oh, or there's cataracts, glaucoma, there, you know, we're going, it's liver issue, but it's the gaze. So what we're looking at there is, is like the manifestation of the Shen. 